Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today we're carrying on the Christmas special and in this video we are going to be moving to a new location, creating a new base and also mining those diamonds we found in the last episode. Please enjoy. This food that I've just gathered. We also need to get some more coal and iron and just resources in general because we don't have enough of any of that. But uh, it's all going to be in due time, it's all good. Oh. <coughs> As you can see, we have our normal textures back, and I don't have any add-ons to the game apart from the short swords add-on. Okay, I just realized I had uh, some more bread than I thought, so I'm just going to start going into the caves now. Uh, we really need a better entrance. This is the spawn I mentioned in the last episode. I've, I know I've mentioned it before, but... I just wanted to show you guys that I wouldn't be lying down so I could just get it. It is a, I'm pretty sure, it, yeah, it's a zombie spawner, so I don't know how much we can actually do with that, but I guess we'll see, right? So I mined and mined, and I tried to get to where my diamonds were before. Now, I found a few diamonds along the way, I found some in a mine shaft, and just some on the floor, and I'll show you where I got the rest of them, obviously. But I won't tell you how many diamonds I got altogether, but I'll tell you it was quite a promising amount of diamonds for the first time mining for them, actually. Also, it's nice doing voiceovers. Uh, I think this is my first voiceover of the video. I even got an enderpearl from an enderman, so to that day, I was feeling very, very lucky. And at the time of recording this, it's actually Christmas Eve. So, yeah, I'm sort of, like, stuck for time. But anyway, yeah, I mined the diamonds, I got what I needed and I returned to the surface, or at least I wanted to, but I did something very, very stupid again. So that thing was, I was going up the waterfall that I'd gone before, where I died before very stupidly when I'd fallen off the waterfall onto a spike to a very miserable death, and then I fell again, and then I died. So, yeah, I really didn't feel very intelligent at that moment because I died in the exact same way and the exact same death in the exact same place. Alright, so yeah, I wasn't really feeling very good. Hey everyone! Oh my god, that was fucking voice crying. Hey everyone, so there's a bit of an update on what we're doing uh, in this world. So, I was originally planning on building my house here. You can see, off camera, I set some oak saplings down here. But, my plans have now changed. So, basically, I went off exploring off camera because oh also by the way you saw i died in the cave literally at the exact same point uh, i'm just going to recollect these oak saplings uh you saw i died in that cave at the exact same point as i died before which is really stupid but yeah hopefully I, i'm not going to be going into that cave anymore because i've decided to move i found a village off uh, in the distance actually pretty close and it's also an asia village so uh that's that just shows you how close it is so yeah that's that's cool so we're going to go to that village because it looks a lot nicer than this one and the population is um, a lot higher. So yeah, basically the rest of this episode is me just going to that village and showing you guys around. And I'm going to start my house and maybe finish it, but it's going to be a time lapse definitely. I've tried to build my house in a creative world, but yeah. Oh, you can see I've, I've raided that village. I found a saddle, some hay bales. I also killed uh, a drowned and I found like a broken trident. So yeah, that's all right. But yeah, I'm going to be leaving some stuff here since it's quite close to world spawn. But everything I think I need, I'll be taking with me. Okay, I'll come back uh, another round. Oh shit! Okay, I need to sleep first. Uh, I need to sleep before I do anything. Okay, I'm just sleeping, and then I'm gonna travel there. Oh, also, you can see uh, I made myself uh, iron tools. But anyway, yeah. So uh, the place is off in the distance. It's Asia Village, but the place where I'm actually gonna be building my house is not in the Asia biome. Hang on, watch this bed clutch. Oh shit. Okay, fuck that. Okay, you can see we're coming up on the village now. Yep, yeah, there you are. 
and we're slowly edging out of the Asia biome, but we're not out of there yet. And I'll show you the place where we're trying to build our house. Uh, it's just behind that house there. So yeah, this is where we'll be building our base. I think it's a pretty nice view, so yeah, we'll be building it here. Also, I turned, I was playing some PvP, so I have Fortress Client on right now. I didn't actually see this uh, cave, but that's pretty cool. Wow, that's a sick cave. Wow. That's really nice. Okay, well, we'll, we'll explore that cave at some time, but for now, we're just going to be building our base here. Yeah, that makes this um, place even cooler. So, yeah, this uh, place is pretty cool. There's a lot of villagers, so cool. So, what we've done here, actually, that took me like five shovels, is we've cleared out this space. So then we can start building our house. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. The view is just as nice, although obviously we're not as high up anymore. But yeah, it's nice. I've cleared out this little space. Obviously, I'll fill this bit in with dirt because it looks kind of ugly otherwise. And just before you see the house or what it's going to look like, please don't judge me. I'm a PvP player. I'm really not a builder, uh, but you'll see in a sec. Hey everyone, so progress check right here. So we've made the entrance uh, to our house. So yeah, that's working out pretty well actually. That's pretty cool. Although I'm not really sure. I'm sort of winging it. I don't really know what's going to go behind it. But it's just going to be a starter house. So it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know how good this looks right now. Uh, it looks it looks alright. I, I think I'm going to go with this design for the uh, front door. Uh, so yeah. Okay everybody, so progress update. I had a bit of leaves to the front door. And I've added the foundations, the inside looks really ugly, but I've added the foundations, or well, most of them, so the house is ready to be built on. I just need to add the roofs, and yeah, so I've done a little side extension bit here, uh, and I plan to add windows and then stuff, but I need to go get sand first. But yeah, so this is a progress update on that. Alright, so I'm back with the next checkup. As you can see, we've done some more to the house. Yeah, this is pretty sick. So we've done the inside right here, which is cool. I had to basically double layer it with the pillars, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, and we're just doing a roof. So we're doing this type of roof. I find it pretty cool, and I haven't really done one like this before. So I'm going to do that type of roof. So yeah, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, it's working pretty well, although I do have to get a lot of things every now and then. But yeah. As I was building my starter boys, I saw a dog and I decided to tame it because it's not an opportunity that I get all the time. Like, the dog walked up by on me and I decided to tame it. Yeah, that was basically it. I also kept dying because there was a massive cavern and it was unrailed. So I'm going to have to put a railing on that cavern, or at least around the cavern, which is going to be a bit annoying to do, but... I'll do it eventually because it's for my own safety. I lost a lot of XP levels, as you can see, because of that cavern. Okay, everybody. Final progress check, okay? So, I spent a lot of work on this house. I think it looks okay. I could still add a few more touches, and I haven't done the interior design yet, but the exterior is pretty much done. I just need to add in a few more flower pots. Uh, but I'm going to reveal it in three, two, one. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the house, so big thing up here, nice tall roof, and then there's a little side extension over here. I haven't actually used the roof here, but yeah, I'll put some shaders on this and show you how this looks. Okay, so I for one am actually very proud of this house. This may be the best house I've ever made. It just looks quite good with the shaders, doesn't it? And I think everything looks good with shaders, but still, that looked pretty great for a guy who plays PvP all his life. But anyway, I'm going to still do some stuff around it, but for now, the house is done. We still have to do the interior, though. Some people need to understand that this building, with the magic of editing, obviously looks like it goes from one place to another in a matter of seconds, but it actually takes a lot of time. Yeah, but this just really puts in perspective what these building YouTubers are doing to make their videos interesting for me. That is really cool how hard they work. But you know what, I just built a house, I'm not going to luxury and go deep on literally a mobile video game. So yeah, uh, have a nice Christmas day, but please pop in for the last video of the series. I will probably carry it on, but it's the last video of the series, the Christmas series at least. Well anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe.